Okay, question number five from um, Mechanics 1, June 2018, International A-Level, a question about vectors. In this, in this question, I and J are perpendicular horizontal unit vectors and position vectors are given relative to a fixed origin O. Okay, so basically, um, I and J are both horizontal, as if like they're in one plane field, or in this term, in this case, it's going to be, it just says the particles, so it's just on the a horizontal ground and I and J are perpendicular to each other. Okay, so I is like normally kind of can say north and J is normally east if we think about axes. A particle P is moving in a straight line with constant velocity. At 9 a.m. the position vector of P is 7i plus 5j kilometers and at 9.20 a.m. the position vector of P is 6i kilometers. At time t hours after 9 a.m., the position vector of P is R P kilometers. Finding kilometers per hour, the speed of P. Okay, so let's just look at the question from here. So we can split it up from the rest of the words. It's just part A on its own. Okay, so what do we know from this question? All right, we know that the position vector at 9 a.m., that's like the initial position, so I'm going to call that R zero. Okay, is 7i plus 5j. So that's like 7i plus 5j. The horizontal is i, the uh, vertical is j. So I'm going to write it as a column vector. Okay, now at 920, okay, 920, I'll just write that as 920 for now. Okay, the position vector of p is 6i. So 6 and 0. Okay, and at time t hours after 9 a.m., the position vector of p is rp. So first of all, they've asked us to find the speed of p. So we know that in 20 minutes, it's gone from here to there. Okay, and we also know that there's a formula for the position vector of a um, particle, and it's going to be the position, the, the, um, the position vector is given by r0 plus v times t. Okay, so R is equal to R0 plus V times Z. So R is its position at any particular time. Okay, R0 is its initial position. V is a velocity vector, which is what we need to find in order for us to find the speed. And T is the time that we've got here, it's 20 minutes. Now, this is going to be in hours. So we've got 20 minutes, 20 minutes, which we have to then divide by 60. Okay, which gives us one third of an hour. Okay, 20 over 60. Okay, so t is one third. Can we leave it in, in an exact form, fraction? Okay, so now what I know is at nine o'clock it's at six zero. And um, uh, sorry, 920 is at six zero, and nine o'clock its initial position was seven five. Okay, we need to find the velocity vector, but we know that the time it's taken, so let me call the velocity vector x, y, and we know that it's multiplied by a third because that's the time it's taken, okay, for it to get from its initial, from it to get from its initial position to its position now, okay, it's taken a third of an hour, okay, so now if I rearrange and solve this, I'm going to have 6 minus 7, let me tally that up again. I'll have on this side 6 minus 7 and 0 minus 5 is equal to 1 third x, y, okay, which is a velocity vector. Let's make some space here. Okay, so in fact, you know what? I'm just going to call this V. Get that. I'll just call it V times a third and a third V instead of XY. That's complicating things too much. I'll just say a third times a vector V. A third times a vector V. Okay, T is a third and a vector V. We're trying to find the vector V. Okay, so 6 minus 7 is minus 1, and 0 minus 5 is minus 5 equals a third times V 
Therefore, V is equal to 3 times this, so it's minus 3 and minus 15. Okay, that's the velocity vector V. So, therefore, the speed, remember the speed is equal to the magnitude of the velocity. They are not asking for the velocity, they for the speed. The speed is the magnitude of the velocity, so it's the square root of 3 squared plus 15 squared. Okay, so you can calculate that. So you're going to get the square root of 3 squared plus 15 squared, which gives you 3 times root 26, which is equal to 15.29, so 15.3 kilometers per hour. 15.3 kilometers per hour. And there's the answer to part A. Okay, now for part B, um, it says show that RP is equal to 7 minus 3Ti plus 5 minus 15T. So in this case now, we want to get the general equation for the the general equation let me just move this out of the way down here we want the general equation for the position vector of this thing so as we just mentioned earlier we know that r0 r equals okay rp you can say is equal to r0 plus vt now we know what r0 is it's 7 5 and we now know what um, the velocity vector is. It's minus 3 minus 15. Okay, and we just, we're going to use t as t now. That's all. So we can say rp is equal to 7, 5, plus, and you're going to have t times the velocity vector, which is minus 3 minus 15. Okay, so if you just combine that with the i components as one vector, you have 7 minus 3t and you have 5 minus 15t. So you can see that the, the top uh, column here, the top row, sorry, is the i component. So you're going to have rp equals, you have it in the form that they want. You're going to have 7 minus 3t times i. Okay, plus, and you're going to have 5 minus 15t j, exactly as they require us to have. Okay, so that's part B. Now moving on to part C. Okay, it says find the value of t when rp is parallel to 16i plus 5j. So let's just um, take what we have here. We have... Um, 7 minus 3t and 5 minus 15t. 7 minus 3t. Oops. What I'll do is I'll just do this instead. And we'll just take this. Whoops. Mm -mm -mm. Sorry about that. We'll just take this. That's what I need. Put it here so I can use it. Okay. Don't want to copy it down wrong, so I'll just put it here. Okay. So we know that RP is equal to 7 minus 3Ti and 5 minus 15 t j. Okay, it's the same thing as writing in this form, it's just a column vector form. And we know that this is parallel, we want to find the value of t when this vector is parallel to this vector. So what we need to do here is we, we know that when, some, when two power vectors are parallel, then they're equal, okay, to um, some constant times each other. So for example, when 7 minus 3 t and 5 minus 15 t when this vector is equal to some multiple of 16 i 
plus 5j so 16 and 5 okay this is 16i plus 5j so when these two vectors when this vector is equal to some multiple times that vector then that's going to be when they are parallel so let's we can form a pair of simultaneous equations here we can say 7 minus 3t is equal to 16k and we can say 5 minus 15t is equal to let me write it underneath it so we can solve it like by elimination so we've got 5 minus 15 T is equal to 5 K so what I want to do is I want to find the value of T when they're the same now for me to do that I think it's easy for me to find what K is first because um, it's easy for me to make the T's the same rather than the K's the same so let's make the T's the same by multiplying all of this by 5 then I'll have 7 times 5 is 35 and I'll have 3 times 5 is 15 so they're both going to be 15t and I'll have 16 times 5 which is 80 that's 5 times 10 plus 5 times 6 yes that's 80 that's 80k and if I subtract these two all right I'll get rid of the the t's so 80 minus 5 is 75 so you have 75k and this will become 0 and you've got 35 minus 5 which is 30 so we can say k is equal to 30 over 75 so k is equal to well 5 goes into 36 times and 5 goes into 75 15 times in fact there's a number that goes into both of them 5 uh, that's 5 30 over 75 30 over 75 gives us two fifths yeah that's getting too quicker so k is equal to two fifths all right but we want to find what t is all right so what we're going to do is we're going to substitute this back into one of these equations let's choose the first one so seven minus three times t in fact let's choose a second one because we've got a 5k it's easier okay so we got five five minus uh, 15 t is equal to 5 times k which is 2 fifths the 5 will cancel so we're left with um, 5 minus 15 t is equal to 2 so we're going to have 5 minus 2 which is 3 is equal to 15 t so t is equal to 1 over 5 so 1 over 5 hours okay so when t is equal to 1 fifth is going to be when that the Particle P is parallel to 16I plus 5J. So that's the answer to number to part C. And now for part D. It says the position vector of another particle Q at time T hours after 9 a.m. is RQ kilometers, where RQ is equal to, you're going to have 5 um, plus 2ti so 5 plus 2t and minus 3 plus 5tj and we know rp is equal to 7 minus 3t and 5 minus 15t 7 minus 3t and 5 minus 15t so make sure of that 7 minus 3t and 5 minus 15t that's right okay um Show that P and Q will collide and find the position vector of the point of collision. Okay, if they collide, then there will be a time when both of these vectors will be equal to each other. And the time should be the same for both the I and J components. So, if they collide, then there will be a value of T for which RQ is equal to RP. So, let's equate these two to each other. So, 5 plus 2T, okay, and minus 3 plus 5T there will be a time when these are both equal to each other 7 minus 3t and 5 minus 15t okay now what I can do is equate the i components so you have 5 plus 2t equals 7 minus 3t and let's solve this equation we're going to bring the t's together so on this side you'll have 2t plus 3t and that side you're going to have 7 minus 5 so you'll have 5t is equal to 2 
So T is equal to two fifths. Now, if I get the same value when I compare the J, the, the J components, this is for the I components, if I get the same value of T when I compare the J components, then it means they collide. So let's look at the J components. You get three plus five T equals five minus 15 T. Okay, so if we solve this one, we're gonna have minus three, uh, well, five T plus 15 T is equal to 5 plus 3. Okay, bring the t's on this side. So you have 20t is equal to 8. So t is equal to 8 over 20. Okay, what number goes into both of these? 4. 4 divided, 8 divided by 4 is 2. 20 divided by 2 is 5. Okay, so we can say for sure that they collide. So we can say You can say as T is the same for both I and J components. Okay, therefore they collide. And that wasn't the only part of the question. They also asked us to find something else. Let me just tidy that up. This pen sometimes messes around with me. Okay, it says, and, and find the position vector of the point of collision. So now we know when T, they collide when T is equal to two-fifths of an hour, right? So to find the position vector of the collision, we, we just need to substitute that. Okay, we need to substitute that into one of these two. Okay, let's choose RQ because we know that they're going to be in the same place. You can put in RQ or RP, but I'll just choose RQ. 5 plus 2T and minus 3 plus 5T. Okay, so when T is equal to 2 fifths, RQ is going to be 5 plus t times 2 times 2 fifths and minus 3 plus 5 times 2 fifths okay so you're going to have 5 plus 4 over 5 okay so let me just do that here 5 plus 2 uh, times 2 fifths Okay, that will give me 29 over 5. And this will be, uh, this will cancel with that actually. So you have minus 3 plus 2, which is minus 1. So you end up with 29 over 5 i minus 1 j. And there we have the answer. That's going to be the position vector where they collide. Okay? All right, so there's the answer to the question, that question, I think it's question number five.